Welcome back everybody, today we'll be looking at a video from TechZone about airsoft guns, which is something you I don't see as much, but I thought it'd be pretty interesting. Hornet M25 Kit if you're a big fan of video games, you'll probably recognize the first weapon on today's list. This is a kit designed to improve standard airsoft weapons and make airsoft battles more exciting. Specialists from the French company Avatar were inspired by the franchise Mass Effect. The kit is compatible with a fairly large number of models. You can even use it with real weapons like a Glock pistol. With this kit, your weapon will look like the Hornet M25 the memorable submachine gun that appeared in Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect Andromeda. The kit comes in two colors, Black Obsidian and White Cerberus. It costs $140. So, that sounds really expensive, a hundred, uh, over $100 for a piece of plastic that sticks onto, that you put onto a gun not my um type of money spending thing I'd that that sounds weird thing I'd spend money on because that sounds extremely expensive for something that people would actually buy and if I'm pretty from if it's not just a piece of pressed plastic maybe but for what I'm getting it's just a piece of pla plastic that they press into something they paint it and that's it Usually it's all done by machines and it takes like maybe like a day, not it takes like maybe like two hours to make it. So without the dry, without the um cooling and drying and all the paint stuff, it's just to press it takes a few seconds. But yeah, it looks pretty cool, so that's a big bonus. <laughs> And by the way, I thought it was cool that they had Red Wolf Airsoft in this. He's one of um he's a big inspiration to me with all with along with the other airsoft YouTubers like Novrich, Silo, Sniper Buddy Fabi, Wag Entertainment, US Airsoft, a lot of different people. So they they're all really big to me and um I'll talk about Novrich his stuff in a different video. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. The BO Fabarm STF-12 Some airsoft weapons are designed to look realistic. A great example is the Fabarm STF-12, a shotgun developed by French company BO Manufacture. This is an airsoft model, but it looks as authentic and real as the original. It stands out for its Picatinny rail that allows you to mount a collimator... As, um, I think it's funny how he talks about the um, Picatinny rail. And it's he he's acting like it's that's what makes it stand out, and um it, it probably is because you don't see many shotguns with rails, if um but there is a lot of them that do, so it just I just think it's funny how the person voicing this said made it sound like the rail was super cool or something. Sights on the shotgun. There is no folding stock. The shotgun is made from ABS plastic. The Fabarm STF-12 uses 6mm caliber projectiles and fires 3 BBs at once. The capacity of the magazine is 30 pellets. The muzzle velocity is 95 meters per second. And the shotgun... I'm an American, so I don't know really... I don't know about the meters per second. I wish you used, like, um... FPS or joules, because that would have worked a little better, but weighs just under two kilograms and costs about eighty-six dollars. Eighty-six dollars sounds really cheap for a shotgun, because I've seen shot because shotguns, especially stuff like this, I would expect it to be a whole lot more expensive.
Desert Warrior 4.3 This airsoft gun is produced by the Japanese brand Tokyo Marui, one of the most popular companies in the airsoft market. And by the way, he is very correct. If you didn't know, Tokyo Marui is very prestigious. Um, um, they make a lot of pistols, so I don't really see the um how good this is unless it's got some innovative technology. But the Desert Warrior looks pretty nice. It's um. I always like how they got the rail on the bottom because it always reminds me of um how you could how um you can make like skins for them like they had in the first tech piece how you can put the gun inside of like a shell to make it look something different. I always thought that was cool. Um, Silo actually made a kitlet for that to turn a pistol into a sniper. The very first copy was released in 2009, but the model is still in demand and it's very popular among airsoft players. The sand colour scheme matches the name Desert Warrior. The weight of the gun is 830 grams. It has a low cap magazine with a capacity of 25 BBs. The muzzle velocity is 85 meters per second. In general, the model stands out for being compact and easy to modify. The removable Picatinny rail um, for them saying it's really customizable, that's pretty expected. It's a Tokamori. They they use and like I said, it's a popular gun. So it's like I've seen um companies that brand off of Nerf guns, and they make a whole lot of money because they'll they'll make a 50 cal um with a tiny Nerf gun. It's kind of funny. Increases the functionality of the gun. For example, the gun can be equipped with a flashlight or a tactical. I like the way she's holding this. It doesn't seem like she's held a lot of guns before. It looks like she's really treating it like a toy. Laser. The price of this gun is $110. If you don't like its classic look, you can try this reliable and high quality gun. Specifically for fans of all things unusual, Japanese experts have developed a modified version. This is the Steel Buster P2911A1. It that looks pretty sharp for a gun. Looks like a shotgun though with the cal the caliber that it shoots. It'd be pretty cool. It has a 74mm barrel and shoots 11mm BBs. The damage range is almost the same as that of conventional guns. The manufacturer claims it provides maximum accuracy at distances of up to 10 meters and high accuracy at distances of up to 20 meters. The bright red color highlights the carbide metal used for this gun. That looks like a gun that I would buy just for um just to shoot and to um kind of like strut around with on the airsoft field. <laughs> Wait a second. 279.1 FPS. That's pretty crazy. That's a pretty nice gun. Vulcan ASL Series M4. This airsoft electric gun was developed by the American brand Vulcan and is part of the Accelerate Sports line. It's a high quality plastic copy of the real rifle. Its compact size and relatively light weight make it an ideal weapon for confined spaces. The housing has an original shape. I don't really see um, any upside of this. I've seen a lot of M4s, and some of them you can turn into snipers. But I don't really see. I would. Re I don't really see what they have with this because it doesn't seem like the craziest gun. The key mod rail and an unusual receiver. All these features give the rifle a modern but also quite intimidating appearance. There are magazine detach buttons both on the right and on the left sides of the receiver, which makes it convenient for right-handed and left-handed users alike. 
The fire mode selector can also be found on Let's speed this up a little bit. Flip up sides, yeah, normal stuff. Oh. Time to talk about some heavy artillery. Or at least something that looks like it. The next airsoft weapon on our list is the unique M134A2 machine gun from the Chinese manufacturer Classic Army. It's a modified version of the multi-barrel high-speed minigun, which in turn is a smaller version of the M61 Vulcan rotary cannon, hence the name. You can see similar weapons in Predator, Terminator 2, The Expendables 3, and Furious 7. The I always think it's funny when, the, when they do the miniguns because um, for, it doesn't make sense to make it an airsoft because the minigun was solely made so that they so that um they can make a heavy artillery machine gun and have the barrels not heat up very quickly. So it just kind of seems like a kind of cool thing to make. The gun is very popular, and many users don't even mind the price four thousand dollars. Well, who wouldn't want to play with a gun like that at the Terminator? Six barrels in a rotating block significantly increase the rate of fire. The M134A2 can fire up to 3,000 shots per minute. The muzzle velocity can be adjusted by the valve and ranges from 100 to 170 meters per second. The built-in magazine is designed for 2,000 BBs. The gun uses a rechargeable battery and the gas-compressed air system at the same time. The machine gun is almost a meter long. It looks impressive, but it also weighs a lot, almost 12 kilograms. Let's speed this up. Oh, here Simus standard VSR. T oh no! Wait, sorry guys, I hit I hit something wrong. Sima Standard VSR-10 If you prefer something more traditional and classic, you'll definitely like this simple but stunning sniper rifle from the Chinese brand Sima. It has a magazine that can hold up to 55 BBs. It has a spring system trigger, which means that you have to reload the spring before each shot. The rifle is 115 centimeters long and it weighs two and a half kilograms. And perhaps the most remarkable feature is the huge number of accessories produced for this sniper rifle by a wide variety of companies. See, it's like this gun. They're probably they probably picked this gun for that quality. It doesn't seem that amazing because oh, here we go. I have a new gun. Cybergun M249 Para. Here's a very interesting airsoft gun made by the French company Cybergun. The M249 Para has an impressive magazine capacity of 500 BBs and an impressive muzzle velocity of 120 meters per second. Unlike all other models, this machine gun has an automatic high cap magazine. The range of fire is increased to 60 meters. Also, we want to mention the high-speed firing rate, up to 850 BBs per minute. This weapon will cost you at least $220. Skip this. Oh, here we go. Vector. Vector. Here is the last gun on our list. In fact, the Chris Vector is a real submachine gun developed by the Transformational Defense Industries. And the version that you see on the screen is a realistic replica created especially for airsoft battles. Chris Vector from the American company Crytac boasts a 6mm caliber and a 95 BB magazine. The length of the machine gun varies from 445 to 665 mm and it weighs 2.6 kilograms. favorite guns to look at. Um, I've looked all over for stuff like this, but um, it's simply amazing, and um, everyone who rocks it says it's amazing. So please look at my next video after this for part two, and see you later. The fire mode selector and the.